Next is footsteps one, level two. So just initially just drag this into a key twice to a different key and play this back. And level three, different key. Drag level three in twice. Level four. Just put these onto white keys for the for the moment. So that should be E2. So remember the root, if you move these around, check the root key matches the name, the label of the note itself so that you play back the original pitch. Level five. Bring that in twice. Just check the root key. Two, should be B2, okay. The next process is to do like I had done with the footsteps one level one in deciding where the start point is for the left foot. So the wave editor needs to be on. And zero crossing, snap to zero crossing. Play back what will be the left foot and what will be the right foot. So I've shown you this before, so I'm not going to spend much time explaining this again. Right foot. And go through the various fade out, fade in, where whatever is required for this to be a very clean sound. Now perform this editing technique for all the different levels of footstep one. Now I've edited the footsteps one level two, two left right, footsteps one level three, left right. I've I have edited these. What I will do now is create new groups. Two. Level two. I'm lazy, so I'll copy that, paste it, level three. Then map, the, oh, whilst I'm here, edit all groups, turn that off. Map to existing group, which will be level two. This one will be level two. This will be level three. level three. Select groups only. So here I can check to make sure that the association between zones and groups is correct. Now you notice that footsteps one level one has all of these. So I want to make sure that these are not linked to level one later. Later I will perform uh, the process of creating more groups and then adding these, which is level 4 and level 5, to groups level 4, level 5. I'll work on these later, just for the moment, for the time that I have. And also I don't want to do everything for you guys. You need to also uh, <laughs> perform some of these edits yourself. So I've got footsteps 1, level 2. Footsteps three, uh, footsteps one, level three, link directly to groups. So that's the advantage of using this select groups only to make sure the association between groups and zones is correct. So I have just added the extra groups to save confusion. So when I am selecting 
group only in the view, you can see these zones are discreetly linked. Now, solo zone, when you engage this, this allows you to ensure, I mean, it's, it's also a way of checking. So if I, for example, press that, you can see the group lights up this zone. And also the wave editor will, will change according to the selected zone. So this is very important when editing. So I've not edited these last level four, level five zones in terms of their start endpoints. Now, when you have established, established these zones, here is where you can specify the level, output level for this group. This goes back to the discussion within logic. Should normalization as a process of bouncing be, be performed or not? Well, you get, have more flexibility in logic if, if you normalize. So this is the softest level. As I push the mouse key and go into the keyboard, the level goes softer and softer. It relates to level. So you can see the red bar highest, lowest MIDI velocity. So if I had a MIDI keyboard connected, that would be the softest that I could play back. If you want it softer than that, then you are going to have to adjust the level for this group. Now understand the benefit of groups. There's many benefits, but you can control the level specific for each group, add effects and so on and so on. What I'm going to work with is the level. What I'm going to adjust is the level. So if I just turn off the wave edit editor so we don't have too many things open. Come down, and here is our volume control. Volume control here. Command click puts it into a default minus 6 dB. If I play this MIDI key, that's the, the loudest, the loudest it's playing back. Adjust the volume all the way down cannot hear it. Put it back up. Much softer. If I play this zone, this zone. So these zones, as I had mentioned, are linked to groups. So they're not affected by the adjustment on this level. This level is specific to the group. Command click back to zero. So I can reduce this one, but remember level one originally was intended to be very soft. So so I've applied minus 23 dB reduction, which is quite a lot. I might place 20 dB. So that affects both these keys. Now, my little sound of squeaky squeaky shoe sound has also been reduced but I can't hear it so what I can consider adding is another group here which might be for a better word uh, or a better description shoe or foot effects meaning sound effects so this one here this zone I will remap it, or associate it with foot effects. That way I can have a separate level for that foot squeaky sound. There. I have my soft foot. So for that zone I may, I may want to Adjust the level. Remember this affects the group. 